Hi. <laughs> uh, Nick again. How you doing? Um, so I just made a video yesterday uh, that I posted, and uh, that was the first video I'd posted in a long time about, um, well, about anything on YouTube, really. Uh, and I really want to get back into it because I, I love doing the, the video editing kind of thing. And my last one, I didn't get to do um, a whole lot of craziness in, so to speak. It was a very simple video. It was just kind of like a restart on, on uh, the channel. Uh, so what we have today is I'm going to go through a little bit of what I got. These guys. This key. Right? My favorite key. This key. This is a fun key little bit about what it is. So I have a 2002 BMW uh, 330 CI. So it was my first car. I know that sounds really entitled. Yeah, when I moved here to Minnesota, I was 16, and we needed to find me a car. There we go. I was looking at, you know, different cars. I was looking at chargers, and I was looking at this and this and this and this. And uh, it ended up being to the point where I was like, well, hang on, a friend of ours has this car for sale. So how about we just get me one of those? Yeah. So it's been two years now, and I have put more hours and more money into this car than, than I'd really like to admit. It's fun. So here you go. This is what it looks like. So it's a little dirty right now. Sorry, I took it out yesterday. So 330 CI, uh, for people that don't know what this means, it is a 3 Series with um uh, shoot what was it it's a three liter which is what i believe yeah because it was three two five means it's a three series with a two and a half liter engine so this is a three liter straight six uh ci coupe fuel injected um in case anybody's wondering that's what all of that ever means so a few things that i have done to it actually rocket bunny wide body kit i'm gonna get a lot of flack for that so <laughs> a friend of mine named matt who doesn't live here anymore uh me and him are working on this car and uh, when we were doing all this, I told him, I said, you know, use two hands, don't mess this up. Well, he, he went for it, you know, so now that's there and it's not holding right there, but that's fine. No, don't worry about that. This is what it looks like. And I have a front lip that I got from them, which I haven't installed because just a crash bar. Solid, solid crash bar. Up here at the top, they're 255 4019s. They are. Oh, let's see if I can get it to focus. 285, 35, 19s. These are not small or thin. So you're probably asking yourself, Nick, you got a whole bunch of you got a whole bunch of gap right here, you know? Put some get some different wheels, put some spacers on it, blah blah blah. Here's the deal. I'm trying to save money. I'm trying to get rid of that thing and get a challenger. So hopefully that'll be coming soon. But I need money to do that. I need to get that down payment, you know? So I'll go ahead and start it up here so you guys can hear it. Okay, so that was the startup of it. Uh, so it's a fun car. It's a it's a fun car. Um, okay, so a few things that I've done to it after that startup. So Rocket Bunny wide body kit, which I just showed you. Ah, there's fuzz all over it. Um, I also have these 19 inch wheels. Um, I couldn't tell you where they're from. I bought it from uh, a place called BMW Recycles. That's up here in Minnesota. Awesome people. Um, I get a lot of my stuff from them actually, and. Uh, this was just off of a, I think it was off of a 335i that this guy bought and then he traded them in. So, so I, I don't know where they're from. I don't know who made them. I don't know. Um, but yeah, they're pretty cool. Uh, what I also have done is it's called OBX Racing. They do an exhaust system. And um, you know how everybody says like, oh, you know, when you're doing your exhaust, go ahead and, you know, start it up without the, the exhaust system, you know, just do straight downpipe. So I did kind of fell in love with it a little bit, so I was like, I'm not gonna put the rest of the exhaust on, you know, and be real stupid, so. Muffler, mid-muffler, um, all of the, I don't know, I don't even remember how all of this goes. Okay, so that's, that's the, those are the tailpipes. Muffler goes up. Resonator and or mid-muffler? Uh, yeah. So the only thing that's on that car that is from that racing, from, from that uh, exhaust kit, is literally the X-pipe. 
and that is it. I was like, who cares? You know, I drive it two days a week, not even one day a week. And it's like, who cares? Another deal I have done to it is uh, coilovers. I can't remember who made the coilovers. Um, you can kind of see them they're right yonder. They're dirty and messy and unclean. Oh, uh, I, I really I really don't remember what they're called um, at all. I bought them off eBay. I was 16 working at Starbucks, and they were like 600 bucks. And I was like, I can save up 600 bucks. It took me like two months, but saved up $600, went out and bought them. They're okay. They're $600 coilovers. They're bouncy. Uh, or they're not bouncy, I shouldn't say. No, they're, in fact, they're, they're very stiff. They're definitely not bouncy. Um, you hit a hole, though, and the, you know, you go flying in the air. Uh, I'll make a video um, later this week on some stuff that I don't really like about this car. Um, and realistically, the stuff that I don't like about this car is because I'm stupid and did these things to make me not like the car. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so here's the deal, too. So, yeah, it's Rocket Bunny, and it's got this, and it's got that, and it's got this, and it's got that. Um... I paid, what did I pay? I paid $5,000 for that car. And that's not a bad price, I don't think so to speak. So $5,000 for that car. I ended up, me and my mom, because I, I couldn't afford it at the time, I think we spent $10,000, just about, $10,000 on fixing that car. It came down to an alternator, came down to a new starter, came down to ignition, uh, ignition, What's that thing called? It's where you put your key in and you turn it and it starts. It's that little joint. I can't think of what I cannot think of what it's called. Guess where I got it from though? Recycles BMW. So, got it from them. Uh, coolant expansion tank. Uh, new one on there. Um, I have to get a new radiator right now because this one's leaking. So that's another three hundred bucks I got to put into this thing. Oh, um, constant, constant constant service of some kind one way I got a phone call so that happened I don't really remember where I was at uh, something oh yeah constant uh, constant um, constant service on that car it feels it, when I was when I first had it it felt like every other week I was going into a BMW something wrong with it something this something here um, oh biggest biggest expense ever on that car for such a stupid part was my LCM for people that don't know what an LCM is, here's a picture of it. It's called a light control module. Uh, it's the thing that you turn to put on your headlights or your hazards, or not your hazards, your headlights and or your parking lights. Um, that thing was a thousand dollars. Now the part itself is only, I think it's like a buck seventy, something you know, something cheap, maybe even a little bit more than that. But um, so not bad. But it's I mean, you have to get it coated. You have to you have to coat it to your car. So mileage, blah blah blah. So on an E46, I think I don't know if it goes with all BMWs necessarily, but this car, uh, your mileage is recorded in there. So if you unplug your LCM and you put in a new LCM, a little light shows up next to your mileage that says like, "Oh, this has been tampered with. Like this is not original mileage." Blah blah. So I had to go and get that coded, which was so basically if you buy it from a from from the dealership or whatever, you spend a thousand dollars and it's coded for your car, which is nice. It's cool. I could have lived with the red dot. Straight up, could have lived with the red dot. It's whatever. Thousand dollars though, and my brake lights were stuck on for months. I didn't have a thousand dollars. Brake lights were stuck on for like four months. It was insane. But that's my Rocket Bunny Wide Body 330C. I'll do some fancy shoots with it. Do some other fun stuff with it later on in life. Um, later on in life, like later this week, I'll do some cool shots. Yeah. So there we go. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah.